What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of NS and Chill. Today we're playing Skate 3 and we are gonna be Andrew Reynolds today. Oh my god, come on. I just wanna make it up. Okay, that's one way to make it up. And then just make it over to the ledge. I just wanna start the video out right here. Just make a session marker. Let's get down and then move the dumpster over so that we can get a good frontside flip because that's one of the requests for these episodes is that we get a frontside flip in an Andrew Reynolds episode. So let's just see what we can do here. What if we actually wind up for it so that we spin slower in the air? Okay, that definitely. <laughs> yeah, that was cool, Andrew. Definitely makes it a bit easier to uh, spin it slow. <laughs> We're just not supposed to turn... Oh my god, I, I played Sean White skateboarding yesterday and the session marker system is like that. In Skate 3 we obviously need to hold down the left bumper. I don't know if I like that though. We need a good one. If I do it that way, maybe you should just do the kickflip and then try to spin slowly in the air. Kind of like that. Let's try to get a tweak on it. So we can start off by trying the nolly inward heel tweak. So kind of like that. Now we're going to tweak the kickflip. Oh no, that's not enough speed, is it? It actually was, and that looked pretty good. We can try another one. We can also try the nolly barrel heel tweak. And apparently this is enough speed for it. Okay, kind of tweak the wrong way, but I like a bit of like different style on it. We can try with the nolly laser tweak. Oh, that that was just weird. Let's try the nolly through 16 with heel tweak. That was also weird. If we still have the first one, the nolly in with heel tweak, then that is definitely the one we're taking. Is that this one? Nope, that was the Nolly Veil heel tweak, but I I kind of like it. That one was my favorite, though, so let's film that. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot this is an Endless and Chill episode, so I won't be doing that much editing after this. We'll just be uh, catching the clips together. So I kind of wanted a bit more zoomed in. So if we make another keyframe here where we zoom out a bit, then we can capture one here that's way more zoomed in. I kind of want to start it like that. So at 157 millimeters, we'll, we'll take that and delete these and just replace this. Maybe like over here and then angle it like that. Oh, no, that's where I want to start the first keyframe. So like this and then we'll remove this one in the middle and then we'll find the landing and we'll move over here. And hopefully still have everything in frame, otherwise we'll adjust it for the front side flip in the air. Yeah, that's a bit off to the side. So we'll make a new one here and just center Andrew. And then let's also add some slow motion. I love that feature in Skate 3. We'll add a... Yeah, when do we add the first keyframe? Like here. Just make a key. Go forward a little bit, like around there. Make a slow motion key, move a bit forward, and then around here we'll get the speed back up to regular. Let's check it out! You know what? I also want to check out the other one. So where is that? Let me just see. That one also looked pretty good. You know what? Maybe we should film that with a fisheye. Let's do that. So we'll make a cut here and then we'll adjust this one. We'll just zoom out again. We'll zoom out to about 40, move on a little bit, zoom out further, and then we'll try to catch a keyframe, not at 10 millimeter. So we'll have to adjust this one a little bit. 19, that's not enough. We'll try to hit 14 or 15. 14, that's perfect. Let's remove the other ones. And then let's just move this one into frame. I love both of those angles, so let's just get to a place on the map where we haven't skated in the last couple Skate 3 videos. I think that might have to be University District, even though it's not 
really my favorite part of the world, but uh, we'll, we'll go somewhere. Maybe just campus entrance? No. Don't we have just like... Oh, the chance center. I actually do love the chance center. And I also gotta check the difficulty because if we're still on normal, we'll change it up to hardcore. But I think it is on hardcore from the last video. The loading time is a bit longer than I remember. And I just played Sean White skateboarding and that is awful with the loading times. So that says something. Let's just get into it. Game settings. It is on hardcore. Perfect. Let's just get some some rail tricks, some grind tricks maybe. I always want to like start easy with those since it is on hardcore. Maybe just start on a... No, not start on a board. That's going to be a bit boring for you guys. Ease into it with a kickflip front board. Almost like a board slide, no slide. Which is a pretty cool combination. A overlip to tail or blunt actually that's not what i was trying and this is de definitely not what i was trying jesus man we're easing into it we're getting warmed up guys that is what i wanted to do and then i couldn't really move over more can can i do like in skater excel where i press no, you, you, you can't really tweak the board slides or lip slides. I feel like that's the thing they definitely gotta do in Skate 4 if that happens. Kickflip over Willy. Not what I was trying. That was also not what I was trying. But uh, we got another chance here. Not a kickflip lip slide either. I'm trying a kickflip front smith. Ah, oh, man. We, we're still going though. Try it on the handrail. Terrible angle for it. I thought we had it. What happened there? Uh, whoops. Zooming in on... Yeah, you know what. Ah, oh, the wheel didn't really catch on. Why can't we do a cool kickflip smith? Can we do it on this one and then kind of just bump out with A or X? We'll try that. I will start on my board for this one. I don't know why. I never really used to do that in the skate series, but... It really, it helps me a little bit. That was also very cool. It's easy to over-rotate. Kind of used to the Sean White skateboarding spinning right now. Going for a kickflip wall right there. Alright, come on. No, a pop shove it? Come on, Reynolds, you got this. Kickflip front smith. That was so close. I mean, we, we just keep the line going because it is a pretty cool line. And then I'm used to you being able to wind up from session and skate XL. I wanted to back three off it, but we should just focus on the kickflip smith. It shouldn't be this difficult, though. That was a good kickflip nose grind. I guess I tweaked too early. Ah, that was kind of it, but it was a kickflip war ride smith somehow. I don't know how that happened. Come on. One more. Come on. There we go. That was so awesome. Little push. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that was terrible. But we got the kickflip smith. That's the most important part. Reynolds isn't really much of a rail skater, but I mean, he could probably kickflip board slide this. Let's just try to stay in the middle. And we got it. Nice. And then these things, I, I like how they look, but it's just a really weird skate park street spot. So I've never really liked it, but we could try to get something on a bank to ledge, because that's very difficult on hardcore, I feel like. So what is something Reynolds could do? What has he done on, like, bank to ledges? I don't, I don't remember him. Has he ever skated a spot like that? On the top of my memory, I can't really remember. Um, maybe we could get a back tail and then kickflip out to Fagy. It's just, it's so difficult to aim for from the bank. You guys probably already know this. But once we get into it, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that get that difficult. It's difficult to speak sometimes. Oh man, maybe a bit more angle. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool, too. 
There we go. Thank you, front heel. I don't know if I wanna if I wanna film it though. I wanna find a cool spot. Maybe something you don't skate too often. Hmm. Kinda feel like the backside here. If we go right. It's not really something people hit that much. But do we even have any interesting spots here? That's the question. What did he do in May chapter 2? I think he did a back tail to Fagy. And then he did a half cap flip no slide to 70 out. We could try to remake that line. But these planters are in the shadow. I mean, it, it doesn't matter though. We'll, we'll try to remake that. If it looks good, then we'll film it. He might have done half cap heel no slide to 70. Or was that in... That might have been in Chicken Bone. Alright. Oh, too low of a pop there. But pretty good back tail to Fagy. I like that. Oh, come on. Something we should try to recreate later is a trick from his uh, Battle Commander. He did a lip slide to, to Nose Blunt. I, I need to pop that higher. But you guys are getting everything. You're getting the whole process of getting these tricks. Which is what a lot of people ask for. But to me it would probably be a bit boring. But as long as you guys are entertained. And we just we just chill together. It's like an offline live stream. As a lot of people say. Was that not it? I thought that was it for sure. Okay, that, that was too low. That was pretty good. I love the, the like, saves. Oh, come on. Do I really need to pop higher? I don't want to. I couldn't even get out of the tail slide there. I love that landing. Then I jump over the ledge. Alright. Maybe to spice it up, we'll need to do some flat ground tricks before it. Probably won't add it to the line. Okay, I was going way too slow there anyway. But just to actually, like, get some some tricks I land. Because it's not that often I land these, these ledge tricks. Oh my god! I'm going way too slow now, I know. And I mess up anyway. I love the inward heal though. It is way more difficult than I remember. Just because it's on hardcore. But it's nice with the challenge. We finally got it? Can we save that though? I think we can. We'll try to save it. Ah, even though it wasn't that good. Sometimes not perfectly good is good though. Okay, that was definitely worth it. It did take way too long, but I'm, I'm happy with that, so... What if we try to see if it is possible to get a lip slide to front side nose blunt? We'll just try it on the ledge right here and maybe if we land it we can try to do... Oh my god. Then we can try to do the switch backside 5 or shove it out further down. Maybe on the plant so we did. Why are we getting that much pop? It's on hardcore, we should be popping low out of a lip slide. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna look good if we pop that high. We're popping very high. It might just be this spot. What if we try just this ledge right here? See if that makes a difference. I don't want to pop like super high into the air like that. I 
I think it's just the physics of that ledge I skated before because this one seems... Well, that was still very high, right? Was that just me? But, yeah, I don't know if I can get into this. What? I, I don't think it works in this game. Otherwise, it's just these ledges right here that are just impossible to do it at because I'm popping way too high. You know what? I think we should do... Just something cool with a Nolly 180 Switch 5 shove it out. That's also a pretty famous Reynolds trick. Maybe we could get it after something on one of the clock tower word, word walls. Tough things to say for a Dane. Uh, maybe do it on this one over here. I just got a thing like... Reynolds, he has a good Nolly from 180. So if we did that on the word wall, I don't know if he's really done it on those. I'm sure he can. And then, yeah, what should we do then? I mean, that was basically the line. But could we get this one up here to look a bit better? Maybe like that, very smooth. Then a backside flip. And then just cruise into it in true stance. All right, we'll try that. So I'm trying to just to pop this one low. Yeah, okay, that was, that was too low. We need to get a little bit further back, and then I think we got it. And I guess the title of the video, like the best frontside flipper in the world, I think that's the uh, popular opinion about Andrew Reynolds. I definitely think he's up there. He's probably my top three favorite frontside flip. I really, really like Chris Weimers. I think I, I, I wasn't thinking about what to do. I really like Chris Weimers. I think he's like the new John Alley. His flick is just incredible. And then my favorite frontside flip of all time has to be Tommy Sandoval. Oh my god. Tommy Guns. I think he's the only one to do down a 20 stair, right? So, first of all, there's that. And then I also think he just has it really, really good. But Reynolds is definitely pioneer in the frontside game. Frontside flip game. <laughs> I'm going way too high right now. Let's just uh, lower the pop a little bit. There we go. It's just a little chill trick, right? And then... Oh, damn it! Trying to get into it with a good angle, just to make it easier for myself. No, I like that one! What if we do this? Could we, could we get a cool tweak on the Nolly from 180 like that? We might have to do... Nolly Veril heal before it just to get a realistic tweak in a Nolly stance. Yeah, okay, that was interesting. Backside flip. I keep getting over it now. It wasn't a problem like a little bit ago. Oh, I don't think we're getting a style on a Nolly shove it like that. Guys, what is happening? I feel like I feel like that's the perfect angle for it. And I'm constantly messing up the same way. This is turning out to be a bit of a battle. A bit of a frustrating battle. Because I feel like this should be really easy for me. And then I get it with way too high of a switch all in. But we'll take it. We also got the fake tray after. I'm happy with that. Ooh, that's a high switch, Ollie. We won't notice that going real time, right? <laughs> Maybe I just need to go a bit more in front. Yeah, that, that kind of hides it a little bit. We'll say that. I think that turned out pretty cool, and now I'm just trying to think of like a realistic size stair set that Reynolds would be able to do a fakey barrel heel down in real life, because that is one of my favorite gap tricks of his, as, as well as the frontside flip of course, but like fakey barrel heels from Andrew Reynolds, they just look so good. Maybe in a line? What could we do here in a line where we land fakey? And then do a fakey barrel heel down these. Will we even have enough speed for that? 
Or maybe we could do it here where you kind of just do a trick into the bank and then we get a lot of speed where we can do the uh, fake barrel heal pretty long. A trick I really like from Reynolds is his uh, nolly back 180. Okay, I guess that was too much speed. But if we were to get a nice looking nolly back 180, how would we do that? That is not the way. That's the uh, the wrong tweak. Maybe we need to do the nolly barrel heal again. Because then if we do a nolly back 180 now... Still looks a little bit weird. What about from a laser? I don't know if that's the Reynolds style, but we'll, we'll go with that one. So, nolly laser. We'll just do that. And then a perfect fake barrel heel flip down the stairs. That was absolutely beautiful and I have been filming for a while so I think that was the last Reynolds trick we got in this video but it's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying Skate 3 once again because I am playing with the pro skaters. I, I really got pushed into playing with my own custom character back when I really made Skate 3 videos and while it's, it's also fun, I just really enjoy that we have all these pros in the game. So for me it's just a lot of fun to do the tricks they would probably do at a spot like this in real life and then just try to film that and have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's probably one of the more edited NS and Chill episodes because normally I just do them in one take but for this one I, I think it's alright. But for the next one we will probably go a bit more raw, maybe edit out some of the, uh, the replay uh, edits. What do you call that? I don't know but uh, yeah. Here we are. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know how to support the channel. Otherwise, I'll just see you in the very next video. So until then, peace out.